Welcome back. This is the Reynolds Run Hair Scramble. Let's get it started. That's Dennis Porsche with a whole shot. That's Travis Harmon on the Kawasaki and Dale Hiles on the Gas Gas. March 2nd, 2024, and we're in Stanton, Alabama for the Reynolds Run Hair Scramble at Perry Mountain Motorcycle Club. This is round two for the Southeast Cross Country Association. Unfortunately, I missed round one because I was out of town that weekend. I'm racing in the B50 Plus class. There's only four of us today, and yes, I'm currently in fourth place. We have one Kawasaki, one Yamaha, one Gas Gas, and one KTM. Weather's great for racing today with high temps in the mid 60s and partly cloudy skies, but it rained all day the day before the race, so the course is pretty muddy. The three guys ahead of me have gotten out of sight. You may have noticed me shaking my left hand there. I was having a problem with my hands going numb throughout the first lap of this race. I didn't get warmed up enough prior to the start of the race. There's a fine line between getting warmed up enough and wasting energy before a race, so in this case, I didn't get warmed up enough. I've got some work to do for hair scrambles in general. Since moving to B class, I've done pretty well in sprint enduros and enduros, but I've struggled with hair scrambles to be quite honest. Most hair scrambles are split start format where the C class is racing in the morning and the A and B class is racing in the afternoon, so that's been quite an adjustment for me. I'm a morning person. I wake up really early in the morning and I never need an alarm clock. I feel better in the morning, I have more energy in the morning, and by default, I race better in the morning. For hair scrambles on race day, I feel like I'm pretty worn out by the time the hair scramble starts at 1.30 or 2 in the afternoon. I'm not making excuses, just acknowledging that I've got some work to do. I've caught up to my friend Brad Bradley, he's in the B40 class. This is one of those areas that doesn't look slick on video, but it was super slick. Now I've caught up to my friend Justin Ridley in the B40 class. Justin is the parts manager over at Max Motorsports. He's a great guy. If you ever need parts, go see him at Max Motorsports. Justin! I'm always impressed with the crew at Perry Mountain and how well they can handle less than ideal weather conditions. Despite inches of rainfall the day before this race, they've routed the majority of the course on the high ground and sandy areas. They continuously rerouted problem areas during the race and made sure it was a race and not a mud bomb. Those guys are really well organized and they do a great job. I don't know what they call it, but I call this Pucker Factor Bridge. Don't look at the bridge, look at the other side. Thanks to Andrew Wheat for this video clip. At the end of the first lap, I'm in fourth place with a time of 32 minutes, 26 seconds. I'm two minutes and two seconds behind Dennis. You might have noticed that the scoring screen said fifth, but during the race, there was someone being scored in the B50 class who shouldn't have been, and that was fixed later. Kent 
farmer showing me a good line there. Thank you, sir. There goes Steve Nicholas III. He's leading the race overall. There goes Colby Yarborough. He's in second place overall. Oh, oh. Here comes Poker Factor Bridge again. There goes Ensign Payne. He's in third overall. Again, to Andrew Wheat for this video clip. At the end of the second lap, I'm still in fourth place with a time of 34 minutes 22 seconds and a cumulative time of 1 hour 6 minutes 48 seconds. Thanks to Laura Davis for this video clip. There goes Seth Walter in fourth overall. There goes Trent Wisenat in fifth overall. There goes Zane Williams in sixth overall. The video just wouldn't be complete if I didn't get passed by McLean Fryman. There's Peyton Attaway right behind him. At the end of the third lap, the white flag is out and I'm still in fourth place. But I saw that it was seven minutes behind third place on the screen, so I chose not to do a fourth lap. Thanks to the Southeast Cross Country Association for another very well-run event, and thanks to everyone at the Perry Mountain Motorcycle Club for all the hard work put into the course and making this race a success. If you enjoy these race recap videos, please subscribe, like, and comment. That really helps me out. Thanks for watching.